the blue, blue lights. Lab one. Stealth suit ideas, water valves, heart monitor, not enough oxygen flow. Hmm. Prototype gloves. Oh, these are the things that we need to get. We need to get uh, the suit in here. So that's one. We need a body and a helmet, I think. Damage prototype. Oh, we can't get these. Oh, man. We'll leave it there. He's touching the, um, that. Brewer book. Oh, nice. Uh, too bad we don't use that, but that's pretty cool that they put, you know, something underneath that. <clears throat> let's check these filing cabinets. Nothing there. Okay, let's check the terminal here. Research terminal. Let's learn about this suit. Field gun prototype. We've successfully created a capacitance module capable of emitting a focused electromagnetic pulse. Um, yeah, I think we, we already read that. Uh, I've been working with Mori on fitting the gloves to the torso and come up with a few improvements which should greatly enhance the user's manual dexterity. I adapted Redding's... Redding's? Is that the town from Fallout 2? Is that what they're talking about? Um, Redding's new rubberized dampening compound and applied it to the palms and other high wear surfaces, or high wear surfaces. Once the suit adjusts to the user, benefits of these upgrades should be obvious. So it sounds like it, he is talking about Redding's, because Redding's was sort of like a little bit of a mining town, sort of. So that's interesting. <clears throat> We'll read that on the way out here. Boot test. Kick a Night Stalker. Leather soles, rubber, steel toed. Nice. That's damage prototypes, though. Ah, here we go. Ooh, just uh, lit up when we took the boots there. That's pretty cool. I don't know if we're going to be able to wear this suit. Or why we're getting this suit, but we are. We're getting. Um. Thick red paste, 250? Yep, mine, mine, mine. <clears throat> Frightful, what's up, man? Uh, who else thinks when they finish the Fallout series they should remake all the old ones HD? Um, well, I mean, you can kind of get... Um, you can definitely get Fallout 2 in HD with uh, a restoration mod. Um... I think maybe Fallout 1 you're able to as well. I don't know. I don't know if I would... Um, I don't know if I would like a remake of Fallout 1 and 2. Um, I mean, definitely it would appeal to the... Um, um, it would appeal to the younger generation, probably. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I, I like it. I like the way that, that it is. Um, you mean like a full remake? So you're talking like Fallout 3, New Vegas, and 4 sort of vibe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it would be interesting for sure. Um, but I don't, I don't think I would like it, to be honest. I'm not really a fan of like, whether, whether it's, um, whether it's like, you know, old movies getting remade, stuff like that. I'm not really too much of a fan of that. They always, they always don't do it justice. Um, and honestly, like, <laughs> I need to drop a little bit of weight here. I don't know what to drop, though. Um, blank books. Oh, okay. Like, if a lot of people were really disappointed with, um, Bethesda's, um, Fallout, uh, Fallout 4... Would you honestly want to see them remake Fallout 1 and 2? 
I don't know. I mean, it's definitely an interesting idea. There would definitely be people that would be into that, but I don't know if I would. Fallout 1 and 2, I think, are, are fine the way that they are. Um, let's see. So that's that. The, let's talk about the boots here. Researcher Kale's breakthrough with the suit software has led me to break through to a breakthrough of my own by adding an advanced servo buffer to the existing leg rings. I've been able to increase the resolution of data sent to and from the central control module. Once these babies are hooked up to the torso, an agent should be able to limbo under barriers almost as fast as they can run. Nice. <clears throat> I mean, there might even be mods for that. I don't know. Maybe there's somebody that, like, made a mod of, like, the beginning of, like, Fallout 1 or something. Who knows? Fury says, uh, no, I don't. I want them to make new ones. I don't want them to do the same crap like they did with Skyrim. Yeah. Um, I should get the two... Two... The Tale of Two Wasteland mod? Someone said that yesterday. Um, the thing with that, um, I, I, don't, I don't have that on. The thing with that is it changes gameplay, and being as this is my first time playing through this game, I didn't want to alter gameplay. Um, so we didn't do that. Um, but I, it does make sense if you if you if you play Fallout Three and then go to New Vegas because you get to keep your same character. But honestly, it's kind of like. I don't. I, I. I would like my characters to be separate, probably. But. But yeah, I don't have that. Maybe it. Maybe the next time I, I do a playthrough, I maybe we'll get it. What's the mod about? Um, it's basically you take your Fallout Three character, and you get on a train, and it takes you to New Vegas, and you play through New Vegas as your Fallout Three character, basically, um, which is pretty cool. Um. So, the experimental stealth suit complete. You have attained the oral stealth suit. Not only can it be upgraded through testing in X13, it also has medex and stim packs reserved for all your pain dampening needs. Medex and stim packs not included. Lol. So now we can wear that. We're like really encumbered, man. We need we have too much stuff. Uh like, we have too much scrap metal. Let's drop some scrap metal here. Like, some of those. <clears throat> Damage prototype. This These suits almost look a little bit like XCOM sort of suits. Freaking awesome. Chinese Special Ops. Let's read that book right now. Go sneak went up. Okay. All right. So all that stuff is done. What does this lead to? Door. Uh, do do do. Kudos. Kudos for the bean pod edition for the VR sim. I like the Jack and the Beanstalk reference, buddy. I hope Callus doesn't throw a fit. Watch your back with that guy. He's always been more than a bit wound up about simple stuff. I had to move my battle brew setup over to X12 storage room after he threw a prohibitionist. Prohibitionist. Good God. Uh, fit about the about it to the leads. Mori. Test subject. Yes, yes. Run the test. If it'll keep you out of my way, I'm going to, I'm going back down to the cages to see if a nudge from a prod will trigger their abilities. The other project leads will be stopping by in a few days. They must be able to show them progress. Test subjects observations. Uh, this dude's mad. Field gun prototype. Yeah, I already learned about that. Okay, people just talking about their testing. Irradiated Sunset Sarsaparilla. Hmm. Okay. I think... Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do something real quick. I have a lot of things that I need to turn in. So, 
We have this the suit. Um, and we still have to do stuff in here, but I I am like so like encumbered. I need to go and like drop some stuff off. So let, let's go do that real quick. Uh, you know how I feel about anything Mass Effect and Witcher related. I know Fury. It's the best, dude. Oh my god. Every time I edit Witcher videos, I just want to play that game again, dude. That's all I want to do. Okay, where's the uh, the book shoot? Here it is. Greetings, citizen. Ready to receive seditious materials. <clears throat> Fantastic. Process that, that, please. Process books. Uh, forceps, nurse. This man's got a severe case of shoe lung. Uh, let's talk to Muggy and give him mugs to clean. Oh, please, please tell me you brought me some coffee cups. <laughs> Take whatever you want. Oh, sweet, sweet fulfillment. I'll break these down for you just as fast as I can. We give him coffee mugs, and he breaks things down. He breaks them down into um, um, to different crafting components, pretty much. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff that I need to drop off here, um, like um, so. He doesn't like cups, so we can drop those off. Um, let's see. Um, uh, could drop some of those off. Fourteen wonder glue. Yes, I'm dropping that off immediately. <clears throat> uh, don't think there's anything else I want to drop there. And that is all I want you to do. All you want me to do is just Mass Effect and Witcher. I've thought about like replaying Witcher one and two because. When I played those games, I didn't, I wasn't streaming at the time, so there's no footage of that. But it's like, it's like, honestly, do I really want to? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna drop this off here for now. Um, I'm also gonna drop that off in here. Too many pistols here. Let's drop, let's drop these pistols off here, and the laser rifle. Okay. So we've got a lot of uh, free weight to work with here. Uh, do you have microfusion cells? Let's see. Uh, I don't need stuff repaired. Back out of there. Might I be of service, sir? Jarvis. Very good, sir. Um. Let's see. Oh, it's got lair mod stuff that we can get. I forgot about that. Uh, microfusion cells, bro. Nope. Still no microfusion cells. Okay. Uh, break down. Recycle all those energy cells. Okay. All right, let's go back to the uh, X13 place. Do that. About that long of games, yeah, that's true. And you could finally choose uh, the other path in two. They're not too long games, that's right. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, at this point, like, I, I haven't really thought about too much of what I'm going to play next, but we'll keep an eye out. Keep thinking. Um, I would say we probably have maybe less than 30 hours left in this game. So, we'll see where we go to from there. Um, a lot of people hide in magazines in their books. Interesting. Uh, but we'll see. <clears throat> Get off your butt, butts. It's the last time I'm going to warn you, butts. I can see that comic book poking up out of your field manual. Don't fool me. Next time I, see, I catch you slacking... Gonna write a disciplinary notice, and you can spend your free time polishing a mirror raise. Who doesn't like him reading comic books, man? Locked door hard. Hysteria. 
I've, I've also kind of been feeling like definitely been wanting to play something in a medieval setting for sure. Look at all this Nuka Cola down here. Hi! Look at all that. Oh, we gotta put that suit on too, by the way. We need to check out that suit. So apparently we're going to be doing some testing with this uh, the suit that we just got. That'll be fun. Research terminal. <clears throat> Night Soccer Research. I believe this latest serum has proven to be a success. Under human observation, the creatures remained visible. But some of the nighttime recordings reveal the serum is working. The animals appear to be learning how to use their new cloaking ability when no one is around. Perhaps there is a physical limitation or some mental drawback to the ability, which prevents its usage under duress. I think I will pursue stress testing of the animals first thing Monday morning. Server Sniffer. The VR sim is corrupted? Sounds like there's a bug in the software somewhere. I hope to god it doesn't screw with the suit system. Uh, just got the firmware updated for Mori over the weekend. Uh, for now, let's just tell Callus we're having power issues and focus on the Ripcon test until we get the suits ready. Leave this message ASAP. I don't want Callus harassing me over this. X13 shipment notice. Your shipment of cattle prods arrived today. I'd like to remind you that our systems are designed to prevent infiltration by enemy agents, not internal threats. If you're doing any tests on any testing on creatures, please forward that task to the animal testing facility. Um, okay. Uh, I've noticed some of the creatures have been increasingly aggressive when I come into the lab in the morning. Is something changed in their diet? I'll run some tests if you like. <clears throat> I went ahead and did the lab test and noticed no, uh, appreciable changes, uh, or applicable. Uh, in their blood work. I'm concerned our use of the cattle prods may react with the chemistry of the injections. This is new ground we're, tread we're treading. I'd hate to see our hard work lost to a change in brain chemistry. These critters can be invaluable to the, the war effort if we can somehow control their behavior. So they've been, they were trying to do testing on night stalkers and get them to basically do their bidding. It sounds like. Um, let's see, is there any more terminals around here? Do -do -do. Bunch of stuff down here. So we can go down to level one. Let's go and check that out, I guess. Let's see what's up. Cattle prod. Dr. Callus? That's the guy, dude. His head looks like it's backwards or something. What happened to in here, bro? I want to know how he died. Night Stalker test area. Oh, okay. Well, you don't want to mess with Night Stalkers. They hit pretty hard, man. So that's what these cages were for. That dude got ripped in half. Poor soul. Uh, do I even want to go in here? Before I forget, let's put that suit on, shall we? <clears throat> the Stealth Suit Mark II. Um. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? Whoa. We're okay on Stimpax. Oh my god. Are you gonna talk every time We're I move? We're okay on medics, until we have to numb the pain. Fury, am I playing Mass Effect? I can't tell if I am or not. The suit's talking to me. Do I want to go in here is the question. I mean, let's just go for it. Let's just take a look. Body.
bodies all in here. Is my light on? No, it's off. Uh... Ready, steady, fighty. Strange still. What is this? Attached to the still is a note of the following ingredients. One vodka, mutant cave fungus, salient green. Okay. Take all that. Preserved meat. This is essentially was the freezer, pretty much. Anybody care for some preserved meat? You could make a fine steak out of it, I'm sure. As long as it's not human flesh. So this door was barred. Or, uh, blocked, rather. Take the vodka, though. Put that in there. Oh! Did not think a Night Stalker would, uh... Oh my god, you see the damage? <clears throat> I don't know if I like this suit. Does she automatically stim pack me? Yeah! Okay, cool, this suit's awesome then. Battle brew, red mist. Um, sure, we'll take that. Cessation of hostilities complete. Okay, I kind of like this suit. It automatically uses a stim pack uh, when your health gets pretty low. It's pretty sweet, <clears throat> especially when I'm not looking at the how much health I have. Uh oh. Pistol. Fighting over. Wow, dude. Like, drag that bro in there. Okay, so all those areas are closed off. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh, what? Where are all these Night Stalkers coming from? Guys dealt with. <clears throat> Level up. Uh, everything's going into sneak. You can sneak all the way up. I think there's a level 40 perk, if I'm not mistaken. Certified Tech. Your knowledge of robotic components allow you to break them more easily and salvage their mechanical corpses. You have a 25% chance to score critical hits against robots. You also find more useful components on robots you destroy. Okay. That might be pretty good. Uh, and level 50 has three different perks. So from here on out, we'll have a, like five more perks or four more perks to pick of our choice. So we don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that, because we're fighting a lot of robots here. We'll go ahead and take it. Certified Tech. That was probably the quickest level up and perk choosing I've ever done. Um, now, was this area locked? Yeah, it said it was. Okay, let's unlock this here. And then we'll begin whatever test with the suit uh, is going to happen. Oh my god, we're in Tron! Literally, my eyes just like got destroyed. Look at this, bro. Jesus. Uh, protonic Inversal Axe. Sure. Um, yep, we're playing Tron now. Oh. VR simulation notes. Okay, we'll definitely read that. Let's read that. 
I don't know about you, but that hurt my eyes, man. With my dying breath, I write that I hate the VR simulation so much. It has killed us. Now I will kill it. So he then took the axe, um, him and his buddy, and just destroyed this. Wow. It's uh, pretty insane. There's a pencil that he wrote on. Is there anything else that I'm missing? I don't think so. <clears throat> don't believe so. Okay. Now, is there anything special about this axe? Um, uh, EMP bonus damage versus robots and power armor. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now it's time to run this test, whatever we have to do. Um, let's see. Um, activate the basic infiltration test to, to begin initializing the stealth suit. So now that, so because we have 85 stealth, does that mean we have 100? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Nice. Kilimento man, what's up? How are you doing? I am doing well, thank you for asking. Um, having a lot of fun in Old World Blues. Right now, we're about to test this uh, stealth suit out that we got. So we'll check it out. <clears throat> Unlock elevator to test chamber. Oh, wow. So fancy. Data collection array online. Please use the terminal below to begin user synchronization. It definitely is not the same voice actor, actress, I should say, but it kind of reminds me, kind of, the voice kind of reminds me of, like, Aquarian, like, Tali from Mass Effect. So, this suit is basically a, uh, Aquarian. Night Soccer Research, this is all stuff we read. Um, yeah, okay, so we already read all that stuff. Test area. We have to go down below first. Are we being watched? Yes, we are. <clears throat> We're being watched by the all-seeing eye and uh, that Mobius guy. Um, I think we gotta go in here. Let's check this out. Uh, awesome, man, awesome. Uh, how many DLCs do you have left to play in New Vegas? Uh, we've got maybe about, um, maybe like another five hours or less for Old World Blues, and then we have Lonesome Road, which is the final DLC, so. I would basically say a DLC and a half. <laughs> um, but yeah. So not too much left. And then, of course, there's going to be a couple of things um, in the Mojave Wasteland that I want to do um, before we end the game. Uh, so. Definitely got a lot of stuff to look forward to. I'm definitely looking forward to this final stretch of uh, New Vegas. So far, it's been fun. Um... Okay, let's not, let's check over here first. So, am I supposed to be going down? Uh, oh, 